If you look at me, you probably can assume everything you need to know for this story and you'd be right. I made what was uh, easily the most classic hippie mistake of all time. And it was so bad. I did it such to the point of it being a Looney Tunes level bit, but it like actually happened. For the rest of this story, you're gonna have to suspend your disbelief because every every word of this story is 100% true. And, and I love it to the point that I can even laugh at it myself. I mean, it, it, the story writes itself. I had a while ago what I would describe as a mildly beneficial experience with magic mushrooms. It was my first such experience. I took what would be considered a quarter of a gram. It was a great time. Had some just I, I, no hallucinations, no visuals. I just felt slightly better the next couple of days. Slightly less depression, less anxiety. Felt like the boot on my neck was a little bit less than normal. That was all that happened. So what did I do with this relevation? Well, of course, in the classic manner, uh, of, of somebody who tries something, I decide, well, that was interesting. Let's try it again. Now, it was, it was a very new experience for me. The only thing I had was the quarter gram before, did barely anything, but I kind of liked it. So now I had some, and I'm like, let's figure this out. You have to realize more or less my first experience. I mean, I, I, like, I don't do any of this stuff. For, total newbie. And the little bit of research I had done was, it's basically terrible to find any information about this online. Everything is, everyone has their own opinion. Uh, there's a lot of information about just like, you're gonna meet an alien and just stupid stuff that does not matter when I'm actually trying to figure out stuff like, I'm 160 pounds, six foot one, what is the amount? So it kind of breaks it down to, I was, I was basically eyeballing it, for lack of a better term. And the only information I could find that seemed consistent was 0 0.25 is like a micro dose, which is basically what I'd done the one time. One gram, very small, you know, is a smaller trip. A medium's like two and a half. And what's called the heroic dose level, like this one rock star, I forget his name, said it's the, it's the amount if you want to like meet God and stuff. Basically five grams. I mean, the ridiculous amount is five grams, okay? If you want just a hero level. Keep in mind, that is for people who are experienced. This is my first time. So I, I have smoked marijuana. So I am familiar with what one gram is approximately. So I eyeball the gram, I ate a gram, and I took a chill pill. I mean, not literally, I just sat and waited, basically is what I'm saying here. Didn't mix it with anything, good Lord. And I sat there and just waited, okay? And during this time, I was actually talking to some fans on Discord. We were just chit-chatting and, and just having a good time. I mean, you know, nothing serious, just talking, you know, BS and whatnot. And uh, it took about 45 minutes, nothing was happening. So I'm like, guys, like, I'm gonna hop off. I'm not really that excited by this. Nothing's happening. Um, I'm gonna eat like another gram, I guess. And so I did that and then I'm gonna hop off and, and go chill and just go watch a movie. So I get off and uh, I'm like, okay, I sit down and I call my good buddy, Kyer Mobile. And, and he's like my best friend in the world, basically. I'm sitting there talking to him. And uh, while I'm talking to him, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ham. And more or less, cause nothing had happened at this point, it had been like two hours. I, I kind of pull the Mike Tyson where I just grab a handful and I, I it's, it's hand to mouth. Hand to mouth, cause I thought they were done. You have to understand at this point, I thought these were literally like broccoli. I, I, and they kind of ta tasted terrible, but I was like, honestly, I don't even eat veggies that much. They're mushrooms, whatever. I, I was just eating them like candy. I mean, by the handfuls, okay? And I had what would be a, a fairly good amount. And I looked down and uh, I looked down and I realized suddenly the wall is breathing and I realized I have a problem. At this point, the reality of the situation is starting to dawn upon me. You have to realize it's not like I'm like, you know, fuck it, YOLO, let's see some aliens, bro. Like I, I thought duds. So I might as well at least get my money's worth. I, I didn't buy them, Never mind. They were gifted to me. That's a disclaimer. I might as well get my money's worth and right? <laughs> So when I realized the wall was breathing, I decided that, uh, and the point isn't about what I saw or anything, that, that's a different topic for another day, boys. That's a whole six hour video, because trust me, it was six hours of content. But what I gotta tell you is I realized they are not duds, basically. That was my realization. I thought, candy, no. 
narcotics. So when that hit me, I was still on the phone with like Kyra Mobile and I realized, um, you know, it's time to get right with the Lord. Now, it hadn't fully dawned on me at this time the uh, legitimacy of my situation and I measured it out the next day and unfortunately, it was just over 11 grams. And please keep in mind, never eat this amount ever, ever, okay? This, this was what I would consider like twice what would be way too much. But you have to realize by this point, it doesn't matter. That ship has sailed. At this point, I only have one option. You gotta go in. I mean, you, got, you have to be ready. So that's what I did. I basically panicked over the next five minutes, hung up the phone on Kyra Mobile, sat down and realized it's time to meditate, bro, because you're about to go on a roller coaster. And again, I have no idea what's about to happen because this was my first, I, it's not like I've experienced it. That's why I'm trying, I want to know what it's like. So the first time is already a disaster and I'm realizing I literally made the most classic move. Like, these don't work, let's have some more. Starting to dawn upon me at that moment that I was basically the stupidest person alive. So I was trying to figure out what to do. Cause I know there is no way out of this situation. And at the same time, you have to realize I'm dealing with the legitimacies of having just a the out of anything. I mean, it could have been potato chips. The problem was I ate too many. So there's double, I'm doubling down on like, I ate an entire cow, it's in my stomach, my God. And then my brain is, is more or less going on just a complete six hour therapy trip that I am, I am not at all able to get off this roller coaster. And the weird part is like, I go into this thinking like, oh dude, I'm about to meet like some aliens or God. And instead it's like, I just meet myself. So I would say it was like the most boring, intense thing of my life. It was like, hey, congratulations. You know who's here right now? Your therapist. And I'm gonna sit down with you over the course of your entire day and let's talk with yourself about everything. And back when it was starting, when I looked at the wall for the first time and I realized that the wall probably should not be whirlwinding in on itself like it's some kind of ocean with a tornado, and I realized it was happening, I was excited because I was expecting this is gonna be the most hardcore music session of my life, the amount of just mass fans I'm gonna gain from these lyrics and this synthesizer energy, it's gonna be sick. And instead it's just like, all right, let's talk about your childhood. And to be honest, I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, the, the, it's the most classic story of their duds eat too many, whoa, it's like the brownie thing. And it, it was such a meme. It's such a meme to the point of like, it happened to the perfect bit. I mean, to just to the leather of stereotype. I mean, look at me. Weirdly enough though, like I had zero negative experiences through that entire night. At one point, I had this thing where I thought I saw a face. It was like, there's a mean face. And really the mean face just kind of looked like a samurai mask. I don't know how to describe it with like things and stuff. And I was like, ah, there's a face. And I was just like, no, at it. And it kind of just like went away. And then I was like, hey, I did it. None of it makes any sense at all. But like basically the result of that night was at the end of it, it was like having a lifetime of therapy. I felt like I had resolved like all of these issues that I didn't even know I had. I've had like this mass appreciation for like all the stuff people have done for me. It, 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 I experienced what I would definitely call ego loss of like realizing that you basically have a self-centered point of view, that like, you look at stuff as everything that's only relevant to you. Like not, you know, looking at your pet, like it's my pet, not like it's, you know, a being that's trying to exist with you. I don't know, this is hippie stuff. Yeah, ignore all that if you want, it's not your philosophy. But that was the end result of just the most classic mistake one can make. And you know, I, I wouldn't have changed a thing. Sure, there was some, there was some very wild conversations I had with a ton of people that I was just peppering with all kinds of great random bits of conversational points. And that was all great, but it's life. And uh, dude, I wouldn't have changed a thing.